Hello, welcome to Art Bites with the Mariana Kistler Beach Museum of Art. My name is Georgia Allgaier. I am a gallery teacher. And today I'd like to share um, a print called Clown Forming by artist Krishna Reddy. And he created this in 1981. Krishna Reddy was a sculptor and printmaker born in India in 1925, and he grew up in a small village. His parents were farm workers. His father painted murals. Krishna started creating art at a very young age. Um, and as a young teen, he went to school in India, continued his studies at um, a place where art and science were very balanced and this was a little bit different than the traditional British learning structures um, elsewhere. So he studied botany and biology, and this influenced a lot of his subject matter um, in the art throughout his lifetime. After his education in India, Krishna Reddy moved to Europe. Um, he eventually landed in the United States in New York, um, but in Europe, he was in London um, and then moved to Paris. And in Paris, he was surrounded by sculptors. Um, he created sculptures himself. And here's an example um, called the Demonstrators. And this is uh, made out of bronze. And this was created in response to um, student uprisings in Paris in 1968. Now, next to it is a print he created called Demonstrators. And I'd like you to just do um, a little compare contrast with your in your in your brain with the sculpture versus the print. And while you do that, I want to read a quote um, from Krishna Reddy. He said, I love colors and in sculpture, I couldn't see it. So I turned slowly. I found not only a sculpture in the print, I also saw color at the same time. And so just reflect on that for a moment, um, his, his ideas around color and his sculptures and his prints. Krishna used metal plates, um, copper or zinc, and he would use the subtractive process to create relief. This type of printmaking is called intaglio, where they are physically carving away um, from the plate to create um, high relief and low relief. Then ink is applied and it is run through a press. Now, um, he always felt like his this creating the plate was the sculptural side of his, his art and his printmaking. And in 1951, he became involved um, in Paris with an art workshop called Atelier 17, which was for teaching and promoting printmaking. And he worked with the founder, a man named Stanley William Hayter, to develop a new technique called viscosity printing. And this is when you could apply multiple colors to the same plate using soft rollers or harder rollers um, to push the ink to different areas. So a softer roller would push ink to a more deeply carved surface, um, whereas the a harder, ro stiffer roller would concentrate the color on the higher aspects of the plate. And some inks would be thinned with oil. Some would be left um, very tacky. And these inks would either mix together or they would resist one another and would create this really interesting um, variations in texture and depth and color and really just overall artistic effects. And so the really neat thing about this new viscosity printing was that you could achieve a fully colored print in one pass through the printing press. Um, so to create this level of color variation in the past, artists would have to put these colors on in layers. And so it meant multiple times through the press, um, multiple different colors at one at a time. And so this really, it, if you're thinking from, um, you know, an efficiency standpoint to create this one time through the press was really, really um, a cool thing that they were, were creating. So this slide um, is showing you his plates um, next to the actual final print. And so my question for you is um, just how do you see the sculptural elements affecting the color in the print? Can you kind of distinguish these lower um, areas of relief versus the higher areas of relief? And I now wanna bring you back to the print um, that I chose from our collection. And this print comes with a sweet personal story from Krishna Reddy's life. Um, he had a daughter and he took her to the circus. 
And he described it as seeing like a hundred clowns all performing simultaneously. And he wasn't sure where to look. And he just had this wonderful experience. And so clowns ended up um, being shown heavily in his artwork for the next 20 years. Um, he did a series called the Great Clown Series, um, just portraying these, these performers and the audience and the applause. And um, so just kind of a, a nice background to his to this print. And um, I have a few questions for you that I'd like you to think about. So my first question um, is, as you look at this print, what do you see going on? Now, I did share the title with you, um, Clown Forming. And so I'm curious if your first interpretation of this was clown-like. Um, and if so, I'm curious what like shapes, colors, lines, um, elements of art show you clown-like characteristics or got you to that interpretation. And then my final question for you, similar to the question I asked in the last slide, um, are you able to distinguish the different levels of this carved plate, the sculptural side? Um, and obviously this is the print, but thinking about what the plate look like, do you think that Krishna Reddy successfully creates depth um, with this idea of viscosity printing? And before um, I leave you, I do have um, a couple of extra things just to say. We have multiple prints by him in our collection. So if you um, liked this and, and what you saw, you're welcome, obviously, to go check those out. And then when I was doing my research, I um, came across a short documentary from the BBC um, about him that was just a nice, really interesting. And so if, if you would like to learn more and get more details about his life, that could be a really good one to look up. So thank you for joining me today for Art Bites, and we hope to see you next time.